What's happening, everybody? Uh, hope you're enjoying your days after Christmas. Um, I'm going to show you a thing today, a little trick that saves me lots of time uh, when trying to figure out the right size for a WordPress website. Uh, there's no shortage of tutorials, websites. I mean, you name it on the web that are going to say, hey, you know, this is the right size for Divi or this is the right size for this theme. Well, look, you don't even have to worry about all that. I'm going to show you the way I do it. And uh It'll save your life. I mean, you know, the bigger the image is, the the more size it's going to be, the more size it's going to slow your website down. That's horrible for SEO, et cetera, et cetera. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to how to size your images to the exact size, to the pixel that they're being served. Um, bear in mind, I'm on a huge iMac screen. Um, so we'll just kind of view these images as the worst case scenario. You can get more granular with it if you want, but this should this should suffice for you. Um, look, I got email. Uh, anyways, so look, here's our website. But what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to this one. This is 1031 Consortium there. We're, we're currently devving this. So don't worry about that menu. It's the last thing we do. So we've got this page pulled up, right? And let's say we want to replace this image right here. I use this tool called CSS Scan, and it is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, you can see it's like 40 bucks. It's a browser extension for Chrome and Firefox. Uh, I can't say enough about it, so much so that I even have a blog post slash review of it. Um, so... And I'll put a link to that and then a link to this. You can get it if you're watching on YouTube or, or whatever. Um, so I've got CSS scan loaded up right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website. Okay. So this image is here. Hey, I want to, you know, what, what I want to redo the image size or let's say um, I'm using Elementor for this site. So let's try this. Look, let's just go onto a page. Um, and you know what? We're gonna we're gonna make a new section. We're gonna make it two columns. Um, we're gonna drag an image here and then uh, duplicate it, right? So there you go. So hey, that's the size this image is being served at. Now this can change or whatever, but if you just wanna kinda keep the continuity, there it is. So what we're gonna do Pull up our trusty CSS scan. That's going to show you. Look at that. The image is served at 550 by 366.66. Now, it's different if you want to display it in a light box or all kind of stuff like that. So this is just kind of a good guideline, if you will. So, and there's all your CSS stuff in there. Um, if you do custom CSS like I do a lot, that's it. This is, man, this is awesome. So we're going to come here. Let me escape out of CSS scan. Here's an image, right? So we're going to save this guy. It is huge, right? It's 6,000 by 4,000. Another little tool I use, um, not Loom. Loom is what I use for the video. Acorn is, I usually use Photoshop, but I found Photoshop to be a memory hog. So this thing's kind of lightweight. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it at, uh, look, more email. Um, anyways, 550, was it? Um, so we'll go to here. We're going to export it at 550. We're not really worrying about the height right now. So we're going to export it at 550. We'll make sure our titles, our uh, file name is right. We're going to save it. Uh, I did one earlier. So this is going to have a parentheses one after it. Not a fan of that. So bear in mind when you do that. So let's go and close this. Let's get out of Trello. Hop over to Chrome, right? So we've got our image. What we're going to do, we're not worried about right click. We're going to, um, here's our happy little girl image. Pinwheel, pinwheel spinning around. As you'll see, it's uh, 515. This is the one I did earlier. We're just going to go with 515 for now. So we'll scroll, dang it, I'm gonna come over here to Google Chrome, drag that sucker in there. Um, this alt text and all that's coming from a different plugin. So look, we're sticking it in there. Boom, perfect size, right? Uh, and you can do another image if you want. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Have a good one. Bye-bye.